Alrighty, welcome back to another video. Um, I thought I'd do or, or share my thoughts on um, chainsaws whilst touring. Yeah, it's a bit different for having a chainsaw when you're going away with the boys. You can, you know, you've got generally more room, but when you're touring, you don't want to be carrying extra fuel or oil or anything like that. Um, so we started looking into um, electric chainsaws, did a bit of research, read a few threads, and um, we ended up coming up with the Makita. So, um, Part of the reason why we went with the Makita was purely because we've got a whole lot of other Makita tools and it's easy for the battery system because once you start adding up extra batteries, it um, starts adding up a fair bit. So um, we ended up with a Makita DUC353. Basically it's a 350 mil bar, um, 36 volt chainsaw, um, well, effectively a 14 inch bar for, for a lot of people. Um, it's got a 200 mil bar oil tank. That's all you need to carry with you. So we've got a, a charger for our other batteries anyway for a drill and, and a blower and stuff. And um, we just carry a bit of bar oil. So it's nice and simple. Um, I thought I'd do a bit of a field test for you. The brochure says you get about 52 cuts out of it. So um, we'll see how we go. I don't know if it'll last that long. One thing I have noticed is the blades, uh, the chain's a bit dodged. So, um, a sharper chain might help a little bit, but we'll see how we go. And uh, let's count some of the cuts and give you a, um, an, a real life feedback and you guys can make your own decisions. All right, see All right before you start cutting, as everyone knows, chainsaws, um, top up your bar oil. So I've just got some Valvoline stuff that I carry. Um, as I said, this holds about 200 mils. So just make sure it's all sweet. It doesn't have to be overflowing or anything which usually happens. Uh, that's all topped up. Should have plenty of power in it. Uh, full batteries. All right, let's get this test underway. All right, I've got this log. At a guess, it's maybe 200 mil thick. Um, all the tests that um, they said they got the 52 cuts out of, they had a 150 mil pine log, so. I'm just going to cut some slices out of this and um, we'll see how many go. So, simple button push and away you go. I'll finish the uh, the test with the Makita. Um, not bad. I think the um, to be honest, I think the blade has um, hindered a bit of the results, but I think we're well short of what they uh, advertise at 52. We ended up with um, 35, so I'll spin it around. 35 slices or logs, cuts, whatever you want to call it. Um, don't know what the wood is. It's obviously different to a, a standard pine, but. Um, yeah, 35 cuts as opposed to the 52 as advertised. Either way, 
Um, I'll spin it around, but like I'm pretty happy with it. It does um, exactly what we need when we're touring and camping. So saves on, as I said earlier, it saves on fuel and stuff like that. We've got the same existing batteries and in reality, like you're only gonna cut small stuff and then you know, split it for the, um, for the fire at night. So um, for touring, I reckon it's all right. Um, I'll let people make up their own minds, but there's a couple of others out of there. Milwaukee are pretty good. Um, I'll probably steer clear of Ryobi just because I've had bad experiences with their batteries not lasting. Um, but yeah, it's definitely worthwhile getting a uh, electric chainsaw either way. It makes your life a lot easier. Um, and certainly if you're, you know, you're camping and you want to have the fires like everyone does, um, makes it a hell of a lot easier. So um, yeah, hopefully that was helpful to everybody. And um, yeah, I'll leave it up to you to make the decision. But that's the Makita um, 14 inch electric chainsaw. Cheers.